The bike that we've got here today is the new version of Bowman's Pilgrim's Disc. So let's take a quick look before we send it out for review. Um, if you're not into this black on black finish, by the way, uh, it's also available in a really attractive teal colour that's worth checking out online. So, let's get into it. The, um, the first version of this frame set really impressed us when we, uh, when we reviewed it recently. Uh, we said it offers a fast and characterful ride on the road, but provided you make use of the wider tyre clearance available, it isn't restricted to the smooth stuff and will accommodate any desire to go exploring bridleways and countryside trails. Um, you might call the Pilgrim's Disc a Road Plus bike. Uh, that's how uh, Bowman describes it. It's designed to be good on the road, of course, but also to, uh, to be able to perform really well when you head off the road too. Uh, it's capable of heading off on tracks and trails, for example, if you fancy going exploring, whether that's in an urban environment, stuff like uh, canal towpaths, for example, or out in the countryside. Um, this is a bike that suits riders looking for something that's affordable, versatile, and durable. The new version of the Pilgrim's Disc is similar in many ways to the first version, but it now uses a tube set that's like that of the Palace R, which is uh, Bowman's uh, road bike. Uh, and that's a bike that got a rare 10 out of 10 when we reviewed it. Neil Webb, the, the man behind the Bowman brand, came visiting us at Road CC the other day, and he said that uh, you can use this bike as a really good endurance road bike, uh, thanks to a geometry that's stable in dodgy winter conditions or, or when the surface is loose. Um, it's the sort of bike that most of us should ride most of the time, according to Neil. Although, of course, he would say that, wouldn't he? Um, he thinks that most of us should be spending our time on a bike like this rather than on uh, wannabe race bikes. The version that we've got here is a 54 centimetre model, and that's got an effective top tube of uh, 540 millimetres and a head tube of 145 millimetres. Um, that puts you in a position that's a little more relaxed than that of a race bike but uh, it's still got half an eye on efficiency and keeping a lot of weight over, over the bike's front end. Uh, the head angle on this bike is a little bit slacker than it is on uh, the Palisar road bike, and the wheelbase is a little bit longer, uh, the idea being to promote that stability uh, that we mentioned. Uh, the frame is made from 6069 T6 aluminium this time. Um, previously it was 705 aluminium triple butted. Um, but despite that change, Bowman has retained a lot of tyre clearance. As you can see, we've got mud guards on this bike and with mud guards fitted, uh, there's room in there for, these are 30 millimetre tyres. If you want to forego the mud guards, uh, you get a little bit wider. I think there's about 35 millimeters if you if you do without them. Bowman uses flat mount disc brake standard, which uh, pretty much everyone else does on the road these days. And um, whereas before the bike used uh, open-ended dropouts, now they've made the switch to through axles, front and rear. The frame and fork are both fitted with mud guard mounts. This being a British bike for British conditions, that makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, there aren't any rack mounts on, on this model though. Um, the main reason for that being that in order to accommodate rack mounts, Bowman would have had to use uh, thicker seat stays and uh, it didn't want to do that because of the effect it might have had on the, on the ride. Um, 
There are ways of getting around that, of course. You can fit a rack, or you could go with uh, frame bags instead. Interestingly, Bowman have switched from a press fit bottom bracket to a threaded this time around. Um, speaking to Neil, Neil Webb, the man behind Bowman, he was saying that he didn't believe there's anything intrinsically wrong with press fit design. I mean, it's out there everywhere at the moment, but um, he just feels that there's more scope for installation and, and uh, removal errors with the press fit system. Um, and a lot of people are going to buy this frame set and build it up themselves, so uh, they kind of wanted to remove that possibility. All you've got to remember with a threaded system is which way to turn each cup, and um, you can't go far wrong. As I mentioned, the Bowman Pilgrim's disc is available as a frame set only. Uh, that comprises the aluminium frame, a full carbon fork. Uh, you also get the headset in that package, uh, seat clamp, and the through axles. And then of course you get to build up the bike however you like. This, this version that we've got on test uh, has come built up with a Shimano Altagra group set with wheels from Noble and um, Schwalbe's super popular G1 speed tires in a 30 millimeter width. Uh, on the scales, this one comes in at uh, 8.9 kilograms, which is 19 pound, 10 ounces. So, so just under 20 pounds really. The tyres are going to be an important choice on a bike like this. You could go with uh, something that's slim and slick if you're going to spend most of your time on the road. Or you could go with something more knobbly if you like to stray off the beaten track a bit more. In an ideal world, I guess you'd have a couple of wheel sets available to you fitted with different tyres and then you can make the decision uh, which to go for according to the ride you're just about to go on. We're going to send this bike out to Stu Curtin who's going to review it for us. If you like this video, please hit like, please subscribe to Road CC on YouTube and thanks very much for watching.